As rates jump today on that strong jobs number, is big tech a spot to hide in? Our dear Drabos is digging into that for today's tech check. Hi, Dee. So we started the week with this chart, and I wanted to end the week with it as well, because it does tell a story here. It shows that mega caps on a PG price to EPS to growth ratio, they haven't been this cheap in nearly six years and have only seen this kind of discount to the broader markets only five times in the last decade. Now, two guests this hour have already referred to it, and I wanted to show you the chart form of what they are saying. So there's already signs, clearly, that investors are taking heed and they're moving back into tech. The mega caps have been resilient this week and today amid, you know, broader sell-off or volatility, suggesting that the street doesn't think that fundamentals have changed despite rising bond yields in the macro. One exception, however, might be Amazon. It is the only company in the Magnificent Seven grouping that is lower on the week and by nearly 2%. It is also faring the worst on a monthly basis. It's down, what is it, nearly 8%. Um, all while it is supposed to be heading into its strongest quarter of the year. That is the holiday stretch. There's Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, and Hanukkah. Even Amazon's very own Prime Day. It falls in October. It's just about a week from now, which should boost sales. Now, Amazon in particular should be well positioned. It's doubled its logistics network over the pandemic, and it's worked through a lot of the kinks over the last year or so. Um, but competition has been building in the discount space, and that could hurt Amazon's fundamentals. Adobe estimates that shoppers will spend more than ever this on, more than ever online this holiday season, but that they're looking for deals and discounts. The biggest discounter these days, guys, it's no longer Amazon. I know you were talking about the retail space earlier, and a lot of these folks are worried about Chinese e-commerce app Timu. Now, the U.S. version of the app, it launched just over a year ago, but it quickly vaulted to the top of the app store and download, surpassing even TikTok and another popular Chinese e-commerce app, Shein, which is also gaining market share. Now, Morgan Stanley today took a look at the so-called Timu effect and found that ThreadUp, eBay, Walmart, and Amazon are among the American retailers that are at risk, as well as the dollar stores. Meanwhile, guys, I wanted to note this. It is worth mentioning how different this week and the last month has been in private markets, especially among generative AI startups. We've talked about it, but I want to remind the audience, reports of new blockbuster valuations. It has only been going one way in this space, and that is up. So make sure to check out our Tech Check Weekly, which we'll post today. And we look at valuations for AI's darlings, OpenAI and Anthropic, and how the space is just hitting stratospheric levels, all while some of the air comes out of big tech a little bit, guys. So that disconnect continues.